and then I start feel uncomfortable. My clients was uncomfortable because there was a lot of women there. The my boss was uncomfortable. She used to call me and say, "Tico, that's not working because all your clients they talking too loud, and they saying things that is not properly for all these ladies with the kids sometimes around." And I say I have to find some place to work and another place to work so my clients be more comfortable. Even though that didn't happen because then the place that I used the place that I moved to it was a hair salon. <laughs> and I was the only barber, used to be a mess because I wasn't organized. I used to book my client in uh, my notebook, calling text message throughout social media. I was crazy and unorganized. And the same problem was happening. And all my clients used to sit around, talk loud. And this place was an American salon as well. And I had a, a good friend working with me. He used to do women's hair. I was the only barber. I was renting a chair. My barbers used, to, my my clients used to do the same mess. And they only used to complain. All the hairdressers used to complain. Tico, can you make your clients like talk less louder? Yeah, we're Brazilians. We're louder. We're loud. <laughs> we we know how to be really loud. <laughs> really loud. I was still partying. I was still uh, not responsible at all with money. You know, I was spending my money. I was partying a lot. No clue of my future. No planning my future. Nothing of that. So no perspective, actually. And I met you in 2013. 13. End the, of 2013. End in 2013. You're still in this place. And I remember that your chair was kind of isolated from everybody else. I think because you're creating all these problems to the other hairdressers. So you're right there in the last chair by yourself, Actually, trying to have your own space. Own sp I was the last chair, so I couldn't make so much noise. And I would <laughs> get there and then Tico had... I met you in the first week that, that I you moved, moved? there. Uh -huh. You don't know, but I, you don't remember, but I remember. I met you in the first week that, that I was there. That you just moved there? Yeah. Then Tico had one client in the chair, three others Waiting. surrounding and talking and being loud, just there like watching him cut. And then five other in the waiting area and three outside. And it was just crazy. And people <laughs> calling me and texting me. It was a mess. Me. It was a big mess. It was a big mess. I was renting the chair there. I remember it was in the first week. And I worked there for four years, and me and you, we still were partying, and we were still... Yeah, four years. But then I think uh, that's the the important thing to talk about this year, is that during these transitions that you made, that's when you found out that mixing both, both clients were, was not a good idea, right? Mixing both worlds... Because then your male clients... You're taking away the freedom of the, the guys or even the salon, the women, to talk and be relaxed and be more comfortable. You think Correct. that comf comf comfortable? <laughs> you make them uncomfortable. You make them uncomfortable. And so. also for the other hairdressers, you're creating issues. 